Good morning, everyone. My name is Mireille Pshara. I was born in a Maronite nominal Christian family and lived all my life up to the teenage years in the Lebanese Civil War with all the fear and uncertainty that came with it. I lost my father at a young age and was raised by my mother in a very, very conservative way due to the fact that she was bearing double the responsibility. So we used to go regularly to church uh, to the extent that I was memorizing the whole mass. Um, but that didn't give me peace and tranquility at all. And I was always carrying the burden of my sins like a ton of rocks on my back. I lived with fear of death to the extent that during the war, under the bombardment, I was always continuously reciting prayers, asking for forgiveness, that um, I was afraid that if I die at that specific moment, I go to hell. Going into early adulthood, I started living like my peers, um, doing the things they do, partying, clubbing, and everything that comes with it. So with time, my sensitivity to sin became much, much less, and uh, I became less religious. Um, on another note, I started to learn a shocking truth about the, the Roman Catholic Church and the wrong practices and the wrong teachings and doctrines, which made me lose the trust to the, uh, of the church, like the, my trust in the church that I belonged to. Um, but I like to mention that despite all that, I always had the trust in the Bible. And now I realize that this wasn't from me. It was a gift from God. And I'm so thankful for that because I trusted the word of God without understanding very well. After a few years of marriage, um, our life started to fall apart. We started uh, mentioning divorce, separation under the same household. During all that time, um, I knew something was missing. I had emptiness in my heart. I knew that I needed to get closer to God. And my old practices didn't help. I knew that I need to, to pray more, but that was very hard because Fadi was way too far. And even when I used to ask him, let's go to church, he used to tell me, just take the kids and go. But one day, we were living at, around that time in Dubai. One day, we were invited to a Bible study. And to my surprise, Fadi came along. He accepted. And then, uh, but I tell you, at that time, he was so rude with the brother that was preaching to us. And as you heard him saying last week, he went to throw a dirty show. But thankfully, God opened his eyes. Um, after that, I was so glad for the fact that we were getting closer to God, and this was my desire. And thankful for the change I saw in Fadi and our family that was falling apart. But I tell you, it wasn't until a few months later that I fully understood the salvation by grace alone. And only by the grace of God that happened. And only by the grace of God, I, I was able to unlearn and reject all the false teachings that I was raised on. I realized how sinful and undeserving I was, and that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. I asked myself the question, if I by my deeds, if by my deeds I can earn my entrance into heavens, um, then what was the reason for Jesus to be crucified? As it says in Ephesians 2.8, for by grace you are saved through faith, faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. I comprehended that self-righteousness is the biggest deception the devil uses with people brought up in conservative religious families, where we think, we feel, we do, we're not hurting anyone, we're okay, we're good people, and thus we are blinded and we feel we don't need a savior, we don't feel this, ur this urge to, to, to ask for a savior. But one day in July 2009, with tears, I repented with all my heart and asked Jesus for forgiveness and surrendered my life to him. And from that moment onwards, I live for Christ. That doesn't mean I'm, I became a sinless person, but when I sin, I know that I repent at the feet of my Savior and Redeemer, Jesus Christ. I can testify now that the Lord not only redeemed my soul, but he saved our marriage and he saved, he saved our, our family. God miraculously intervened at the exact right time, and he always does. He is an amazing God. 
Later on, we moved to Dubai. It was shortly after that, when God led us to a biblical church as an answer to our prayers, and where I got discipled, got baptized, and served the Lord for the last 10 years. Life is full of struggles, but I know that God remains faithful, and he's always by my, uh, my refuge. He's the center of my life, and in him I put all my trust. As it says in Habakkuk 3.19, the Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like deer's feet, and he will make me walk upon my high hills. Here I am now, back in Australia, but this time as a child of God, blessed to have brothers and sisters in Christ. This church is the answer of prayers too, and I would love to become a member and serve the Lord with this church family. God bless you all.